Hey, what's up my Koopa Troop? It's Koops. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Grass Emerald. We are still stuck in Victory Road, somewhere underground, somewhere, somehow. We're making our way through. We got lost a little bit in the last episode, but we figured it out. Or, I think we figured it out. We're now in a different part of the area with people we've never faced before, so that's the good news. And we just gotta explore around a little bit and see if we can find some items or anything we might have missed. Now, this should be an easy battle for my two uh, guys right here. We'll go ahead and faint attack this thing because I think Nacho Cheese and Surf should take out Lunatone. Sableye might survive. Oh, Lunatone actually survived as well, so looks like neither of them are dying. But faint attack should finish off Sableye. I'm not sure which one I'm more worried about. I guess neither of them, to be honest, but <laughs> I don't think either one of them can do much damage to us. And an Absol, very cool stuff there. Light screen! Yeah, okay, nice light screen, nice light screen. So he's, he's gonna light screen that up. We can go ahead and faint attack Absol again. Might as well. Surf will finish off Lunatone, so that's the good news there. Hi, Lunatone. He, got, he did get a light screen up, which is definitely annoying. I'm gonna do less damage with my Surf now. <sighs> but I don't remember if dark moves are... I, I want to say they're special, but I think they might be physical, so the, the it might not matter. That wasn't very effective. I kind of forgot. Should have used a grass move. All right, so future set coming in here. Well, I'm not too worried. I think we can get we can kill everything before that hits us too hard. Surf will kill Absol, and faint attack or needle arm should finish off Soul Rock if it doesn't die from here. Yeah, it didn't die. To be expected. Absol did die, which was expected. And incoming needle arm. Ooh, after Pop Tour goes 51 first, though. Nice. Bam. Just like that, buddy. Just like that. Down they go. The only thing that's bad that happened there is we are almost on a surf with nacho cheese, which is definitely a very useful move, which I need. Oh, well. I've never met anyone like you before. Whoa. Wonderful. I'll save for myself. 8,200 bucks. That is pretty awesome. You guys can keep handing me more of that. It looks like that was the other ladder down the other way. Right. Yeah, this looks like the trainer from before. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so either way wouldn't have mattered. Neither one gets you any super secret extra area. So not to worry about there. Nacho Cheese, we could use Surf, but let's save a Surf. Let's go for a dive. I think either way we should still finish off Torkoal with a dive. Well, he's raising a special defense, which was a smart move to do. So I might not be able to finish this thing off anymore with this dive here. Oh, and a protect. This thing just outplayed me like hell. Nice job, Torkoal, but we can go for another dive. It can do the same thing again if it wants to, an amnesia and a uh, protect, which it might just do. Hmm, I'm impressed. I am impressed. I am very impressed right now. That was good stuff. Well, let's see if it plans the surf now though I don't know if surf will kill it now it's got two amnesias under its belt probably not no it still did quite a lot though Ooh, now it's raising its D I'm I'm relatively impressed by this thing it did uh fought pretty well but now I'm out of surfs which that means I gotta go for another dive if it's smart it'll use protect again but maybe it'll miss planet and use protect here nah, flamethrower and it didn't use protect that was stupid I should have used protect so it's gonna die because of its stupidity at the end there. It was smart for quite some time, but then it, I guess it lost it? Or didn't have brains or something? I don't I don't know exactly what happened there at the end, but it fell apart. Now we got a Metacham coming in here. I do have to be worried though. It's a mixture of psychic and fighting, meaning my dark type Pokemon is not safe in the slightest. My fan attack will do significant damage, but at the same time, uh, a fighting move will take me down to size. But it went ahead and used Call Mind, which is uh, interesting to say the least. I'm gonna go ahead and save actually one of the faint techs to go for a needle arm instead. I think at this point I can finish off with a needle arm. And I did just that. Alright. What else do we have left? A Ludicolo. We can finish Ludicolo off with a Bell Awesome Sludge Bomb. Yeah, Sludge Bomb will be super effective and take down this Ludicolo. So sorry, Ludicolo. So sorry. That's just the way it goes. Cool trainer, Michelle. Not gonna happen. 
Now, granted, slowly but surely, they've uh, the Victory Road's been slowly taking its toll on my Pokemon. They're all still fine, and no one's died yet or anything like that. We're all still in three-quarter health range. You know, but it's slowly, it's becoming, we're running out of moves is what's happening now, which is kind of annoying. She's very uplifting and positive about our success. But as we figured out, this is the same exact ladder as down there, so not to worry about that. This over here led to the double battle, which we don't care about because we already kicked their asses. And now we're on to a new place we have not been to yet. And a new puzzle, it looks like. But it's not much of a puzzle. It is a down, push, smash, and upwards. Yep, we know what strength does. I hate how much it says this. Just, I, it appears to be breakable. Just let him break it. Like, why couldn't it just have the, uh, if it really wants to, just have the image of my guy there flying across the screen. That would have been good enough, but... All right, now we go across. We're back in the main front area. We recognize all of this. This guy's over here chilling out on these rocks. Ah, I've made it this far a couple of times, but the last stretch is... Oh, so long. I feel you, buddy. I feel you. It's been a long, painful battle and uphill road so far. And your cacturn's about to get the brunt end of an ice beam right in the crotch. Bam! Well, I actually kind of like crotch to headshot, you know, it's like all in one. His little diamonds on his chest, I use those as hit markers and just BOOM! Shot, 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 down. Getting some good points for all this though. Hello, now, I really don't have a whole lot to take you on with. Uh, but I sh I'm assuming we can get more. Bell Awesome can come in here and use a sludge bomb, which should do some pretty good damage. Or, you know, we can use a solar beam if we really wanted to at this point. And in fact, I might waste some time doing a sunny day solar beam setup. So while it goes for the protect, what a smart bird. I'm going for the sunny day. What a dumb bird. Now, just look at this, buddy. Hopefully, uh, I don't know if I should solar beam now or go for the protect, but our moonlight. I'm going to go for the moonlight. Heal myself up. Just like that. All the way full health. The sun makes it even better. Oh, he's going for the stockpile. Interesting. So he's just, he's that kind of Pokemon, huh? I see. Well, you better start protecting your ass, buddy, because incoming Solar Beam. That was always such a badass looking move when I was a kid. I thought it was awesome. Now, it's only going to be neutral damage, but it's still going to be more than enough to kill Pelipper. And I got full health. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. My dream ends here again. Another 4,000 bucks. I like you guys. Keep the momentum, momentum going to become the champion. If anyone can, it's you. Of course it's me. I already knew that, guys. Now we got a double battle up there. Let's go ahead and take it on. I have nothing to say to anyone that's come this far. Come on! Bring it on! What is the victory road? I'll tell you if you win. What do you mean, what is it? It's a giant cave that's annoying as hell that you push through. Now, I cannot imagine doing this without super repels, guys, or whatever. I mean, can you imagine having to fight all these gold bats at the same time? And yikes, we actually have a pretty good combo team coming up there. That's uh, it's pretty frightening, I'm not gonna lie. However, I'm not overly worried. I can actually throw out a rain dance to heal up a little bit, make my dive a little bit stronger. We can go for a faint attack on Gardevoir. The rain dance, this thing, the slacking should hit me. Or it's with some, it should do that or whatever. And I should be able to heal up a little bit with the rain as well as, like I said, make my dive more powerful. That didn't kill it exactly. I really wish I had Surf. Oh, he's going for the Attract on my Not Yo Cheese, which is not good. I guess I can't. I gotta switch my attack pattern now. Because I don't want... Okay, Gardevoir skill swapping with the two of them. So now Gardevoir's lazy. Oh, interesting. Fight style, I have to say. Well, here's what's going to happen. We're going to go for a dive on Gardevoir. I would do it against Slacking, but we're in love with him. I can go for a... Needle arm, faint attack, sandstorm, whatever I want against this thing. I'll go for a needle. Oh, I don't want a sandstorm. We got the rain going on. Full restore coming in against the guardian water. This thing's going to have wasting a turn here and there, so that's probably why they did it right there to heal up. Wait, it's being in love matters when it's attacking the other Pokemon? Uh oh, that's not good. We'll needle arm this thing. This is actually going to turn out to a real fight, isn't it? Hmm, and it, does, it has Ice Beam, which I was not expecting. That's the bad news. That's going to do significant damage. Oh, the free hugs. And that thing doesn't waste a turn, does it? 
go get some more HP from Rain Dish. All right, so Free Hugs needs to get out of here. I don't want to risk him dying, but really no one else can come in here and take it. And he gets to go first, so let's go ahead and try for... Well, Papa Toki finished this thing off with a mock punch, but I don't want him ice beamed either. So let's go. Ahead the, let's just do as much damage as possible before he dies. Guard Ivoire will take damage. Fan attack. Oh, I probably should have aimed at Guard Ivoire. I was kind of not thinking there. Would have been nice to finish her off. Oh, and the slacking survived. He's got flamethrower and ice beam. This guy taught it well. He just gets to choose what he wants to kill me with, doesn't he? So now it goes free hugs. Not to worry, they'll pop tone come in here and mock punch to finish that out. As well as we can go ahead and... Oh, it's skill swapping back? I guess so, isn't it? So now it's letting it die off while it survives and fights again. Definitely an interesting fight style. I'm kind of liking it. It's not going to help them out, though, as we'll go for the ice beam on this thing to work damage on that. We'll go for a mock punch on this thing. Mock Punch will be super effective and taken out. I'm sorry Free Hugs had to die, though. That feels bad. But with a Flamethrower and Ice Beam, that's kind of set up that way. Pop Toad's going to get a lot of points. Got Dust Clops coming in, which, oh, Free Hugs would have been good there. And unfortunately, Pop Toad can do literally nothing against that Dust Clops there. We got a lucky Freeze Hacks on Gardevoir. No, it didn't defrost either, so that really sucks for it. Mm -hmm. All right, well, our next plan of move is then is that we need to take out that Dust Clops. Ice Beam that, as well as we will strength the Gardevoir. Now, Ice Beam, I'm not expecting it to kill. I'm just trying to do significant damage to the Dust Clops. And it didn't nearly as much as I liked. Unfortunately, Pop Toad, I don't think, can hit it. It's a ghost type. And Pop Toad only knows normal and fighting both, which will go right through a ghost. So Pop Toad's got to work on this one, which is good, because another slacking means we can go, go straight into Oh, a Toxic? Seriously? You're going that route? Oh, buddy. That sucks. <sighs> no more rain eaters. We're not going to heal up from that either. Yikes. Okay, we got to finish this fight off fast. We're going to go ahead and retreat, I think. We want to stay in. We can't do much damage. We'll go with Frogger. And we will go Sky Uppercut on the Slacking. All right. So that should get off the Tox... Or not get it off, but not take damage from the Toxin. Come on. Finish this thing off. One punch. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it. Oh, that thing survived? No. No, it survived. Holy crap. It survived and Ariel aced us to death. Oh, my gosh. What an epic one-hit survive. Oh, we're going to paralyze it when we go down as a, like, a last-dish effort. But, man, that took it out of us. I cannot believe it. That sucks so much. Now they're skill-swapping again. They got def they fought before together. This is really unfair that they can do this, but not to worry. We can uh, Dragon Claw you, and we can Sludge Bomb. Well, you're paralyzed, and I think you're wasting a turn this time anyways. So we're going to make sure this Dust Clops dies. And the Sludge Bomb coming in here. Not very effective, but I think we got the kill anyways. All right. So I think this thing's going to be loafing around this turn, as well as it's paralyzed. Oh, it's not loafing? Hmm. Doesn't matter. We still survived it. Not to worry. An aerial ace that. And it's all it's all done. It's all done. That sucks that we lost a lot of HP to these guys. They fought pretty well there. Their battle style was good. Get some points. Everyone's going to... Ah, still, I'm kind of angry that they did so well there. It is a disgrace. Okay, well, we're done. We're done. Yeah, buddy, I know it, man. I'm almost done after that fight. Here's what we gotta do, though. We're gonna have to do a little bit of reviving and restoring here. Nacho cheese. No, no, obviously I don't want to end the last time I want to nacho cheese. I'm not sure how close we are to the end, though. So let's try and hold on forward. I think we can make it through. If we get a little bit lucky. So we got there. And... Yeah. Is this out? Oh, that it is. Welcome, guys, to Evergrande City. I probably could have dodged that last lava cookie, but we can go ahead and use it. And, oh, I prefer this so much more. Do you remember in the old game where they had those stone statues all lying about? I had no idea what they were thinking with that. I went through and pushed A in all of them, but there was no items in any of it. I really don't know what the whole point of the stone statue thing was. If any of you guys haven't played the old Pokemon games, you might not know what I'm talking about, but they used to have an old, like, 
terribly laid out design with a bunch of things in the way you had to run through. It made no sense, but... Alright guys, we finally made it through Victory Road. It took a lot out of us, but we got through it all safe and sound for the most part. We've got our Pokemon pretty much raring to go. I'm going to be getting set up, guys, for the next episode. We are going against the Elite Four. So till then, guys, take it easy. Peace.